Lemonade stands evoke nostalgic visions of kids handing out paper cups in front of their houses on hot summer days. But now nonprofits like Lemonade Day are using these rights of childhood to try to nurture budding business skills and entrepreneurial thinking. Special correspondent Kavitha Cardoza from our partner Education Week visited Indianapolis, Indiana, a city that enthusiastically embraces National Lemonade Day. It's part of our weekly education segment, Making the Grade. A big smile, a loud voice, and lots of colorful posters. That's how Flannery Partain plans to attract customers. She's just eight, but knows exactly what she wants. I want to be the boss. And what better way to kickstart that ambition than through that American summertime symbol of entrepreneurship, the lemonade stand. Flannery's just learned her first business concept, the importance of a catchy name. At first I was like, sour lemon, but then my dad's like, no, 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 no. And so he was like, how about sweet lemon? And I'm like, yeah, that, that could work too. I was thinking we could do a lemon squeeze. Lemon squeeze, that is the best name I've ever heard. Hola. Lemon squeeze, you guys like that name? This is so important because our education system doesn't teach this kind of thing. That's multi-millionaire entrepreneur Scott Jones. He developed the technology we commonly use in voicemail. When I was a kid, uh, I not only did the lemonade stand because once I had the bug of entrepreneurship, I had haunted houses, I had putt-putt courses, I would make Christmas decorations. Once you start, <laughs> it keeps on going. <laughs> Jones wants kids to get bitten by that same bug, so he founded Lemonade Day in Indianapolis nine years ago. And he's backed that effort with a million dollars that helps pay for startup money, city permits, and free workshops. I have a tattoo, do, uh, <laughs> right? That's what life, for me, and I've taught that to my children, the willingness to get up off the couch or away from the video game and actually do that idea. This is Selling Lemonade version 2.0. Because even before they've made a single sale, kids have to go through a curriculum with an adult where they learn to make a business plan, calculate costs, and learn key concepts. Profit, teamwork, economy. And if they tell you no, just say have a nice day. For $3, blue raspberry lemonade and a 11-year-old Gemma Walker is the queen of elaborate lemonade stands. She always has a red carpet. We want everyone to feel like they're VIPs when they come to the lemonade stand. Hello, we'd like to support our lemonade stand. Uh, maybe I'll get some cash afterwards. Well, we, we accept credit card. Yes, we do. Her brother Miller is part of her marketing plan. My role is to help, to help get customers to come to buy some lemonade at the lemonade stand. And also to look adorable. Her parents, Sherry Ann and Luke Walker, say the lemonade stand has taught Gemma life skills. It's a real world applicability of all of those skills. They are seeing that there are connections between what you like to do and what can make you successful. So far, 75,000 kids have participated in this free program in Indianapolis alone. Two, 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 four. $430.08. Yes! My best bet of business advice would probably be have fun with it. It's fun, but it's also a serious effort to develop a pipeline of future entrepreneurs. Schools nurture kids who are academically gifted, who are athletically gifted, who are artistically gifted. You think we should encourage kids who are entrepreneurially gifted? Absolutely. And Lemonade Day is a perfect way to introduce these concepts of managing money. Because how often in school are they being asked to learn and exercise selling skills, marketing skills, you know, social skills, psychological skills, right? It's, it just isn't done that much. You learn it all, right, when you do a lemonade stand. It also fosters a sense of community. 10-year-old CJ was last year's Lemonade Entrepreneur of Indianapolis. What's this? It's the MVPs for asthma. So it's to help asthma, because I, I do have asthma. All the kids follow the program's spend, save, and share motto. So you have standard lemonade, 
You have blueberry lemonade. For CJ, the customer is king. Well, most of the time. Water's better for you than any of this stuff. No, lemonade's better. No. No. I do not agree with you. A Lemonade Day study found children who took part in the program were more likely to plan to start their own business and are more confident they can find lots of ways around any problem. They also believe they'll invent something that will change the world. Flannery has set her sights a little lower. Hello. She wants to buy art supplies and glitter glue. And with a steady stream of customers, including a drive through she's well on her way. For the PBS NewsHour and Education Week, I'm Kavita Cardoza in Indianapolis, Indiana. If you want to help your child start a lemonade stand, a financial planner gives you advice on our website, pbs.org newshour.